Hey ladies, happy Fit Friday, your coach here. And hopefully these headphones drown out a little bit of the sound around me. I got a lot going on around me from stuff happening outside to my daughter in here. So hopefully my message gets across loud and clear today. But it is Friday. It is another week under the books, in the books, whatever. And we're headed into another weekend. Thankfully, it's not a holiday weekend. But as we know, with every weekend we come across, there's always the challenges that we face when it comes to trying to do our best to stay on track. And where I am at, we're still in the warm months, so activities will be had outside. We're going to be going places, doing things this weekend. So how in the hell do you stay on track and stay in the right mindset that you are in Monday through Friday. And I know I continually share these tips with every group that I do. And if this is your fifth or sixth group you've been a part of, hopefully this is something new to ponder and apply to your weekend journey. They are the two best days of the week because we don't have to be concerned about work, but they're also the two hardest days of the week because we aren't in our normal routines and we get thrown off track very easily and we get in that mindset where if one bad thing goes wrong, then we get in that frame of mind thinking, well, I might as well just wait and get back on track on Monday. When you have plenty of hours in the day left to get back on track, it's in that staying in that mindset of doing better in the next moment, doing better in the next meal, doing better in the next workout, and everything you do. Because if you continually put yourself in that mindset of putting yourself two days, three days, four days outside of where you presently are and continually looking for the future, you are going to miss out on amazing moments to truly be great in. So with that being said, when it comes to the weekends and even the rest of your health and fitness journey, you truly have to find the joy in the journey. And how do you make that fun? How do you continually get excited and get the momentum built up? Because with any new journey, we're always so pumped and ready to go with day one. If it's a new workout program, if it's a new nutrition plan, if our goals are exciting and we know we can reach them, we're, we're excited. But if you've been at this for a while now, a couple months, a couple years, if you're in maintenance mode and you want to keep it fun and easy, we tend to slack at times. We tend to give in to excuses. We tend to... Um, fall back into those old ways that landed us in point A once before, and now we're starting to settle back into that because we're getting comfortable. We're happy with where we're at, so we kind of think, well, I can give into this, do that, and before you know it, we're back further than where we started. So it's truly about making it fun. You know, whether that's finding the right workout program, whether that's mixing it up on the weekends, you know, we have these amazing fitness calendars to follow within our programs that is a systematic approach that if you follow it verbatim, day by day, day in and day out, if I complete it from day one to 21 or day 30 or day 60 or however long your program is, and you do it consistently, you will achieve the results paired with the right nutrition and paired with just being dedicated to the journey. You will achieve results. But sometimes we need a kick in the pants. Sometimes we need to spice it up. So even on the weekends, I know me personally, they're typically my off days for my workout calendar or my rest day is included on my weekends. So I like to go off schedule and do what my body needs or do something that I know is going to fire me up so much that it's going to put me that much further on track with the weekends. So have fun with your workout. Spice it up on the weekend. Like I believe, a workout is better than no workout at all. And if you need a break from your routine that you've been in now for the past five days, then mix it up. You know, hop on Beach Body on Demand and choose the challenge of the day. Choose your favorite workout of all time. Um, explore other options with YouTube, going outside, going to a gym, taking a class. You know, have fun to keep the journey fun and interesting. Then as well, Make it a competition, a friendly competition with yourself because you are only in competition with yourself. Yes, we are part of this amazing group of fantastic ladies, but it's your journey to be had. It's your journey to be successful in. So how are you going to be competitive with yourself? 
You know, I'm all about rewarding yourself when you achieve that victory, that goal, that non-scale victory you've had on your list. I believe in rewarding, whether it's, you know, treating yourself to a new pair of workout shoes, treating yourself to a new fun, you know, saying tank to wear during your workout, treating yourself to a mani or petty, something like that. Never really attach it to food, but rewarding yourself. But to reward yourself, you got to compete with yourself and win at that race. So when it comes to competing with yourself, you know, challenge yourself on the weekends. Give yourself those mental um, points along your race to have that little extra challenge. You know, if it comes to your workouts and you didn't get any workouts in last weekend, then compete with yourself to get in at least one. If you skipped a day this week or you only got 10 minutes in of one certain workout and when it was really a 30 minute workout, then, yes, hold on, sorry, there's my daughter. Um, then compete with yourself and put in 10 extra minutes of a fun workout onto the end of your scheduled workout. Um, when it comes to, I'm sorry, she'll have me lose my train of thought here. Um, but continually be pushing yourself, you know, step outside of your comfort zone. If you are in a, a fitness program that you're lifting weights, and you've been stuck at five or 10 pounds on certain things, but you know you could push yourself harder, but no one is there to push you except you. You know, we can only do so much virtually, but you know, it is you that can pick up the heavier weights. It is you that can at least try to do three reps in those heavier weights. And if you need to put them down, you put them down and you switch them out, but you keep going. But challenge yourself in that respect too. Only you can push yourself one step further. Only you can push yourself outside that comfort zone. Because when you do, when you get uncomfortable, that is where change happens. And the weekends are an amazing time to do that. So be excited about the weekends. Challenge yourself this weekend and truly see what you're capable of. Because the more you stay on track with your fitness, your nutrition, your water, um, staying positive, filling your life with gratitude, just doing what makes you happy in these next two days, your Monday is going to be so kick-ass that you are going to want to do that every weekend and you're going to achieve quicker results because of it. So set your focus, set your mindset to positive. It is Friday. Have an amazing day. But don't let these two days ahead slip by. You truly can do remarkable things. You truly can relax and rejuvenate. You truly can see and feel amazing come Monday and not feel like you treated your body like a trash can and you didn't do all that you could have done. So always think, I couldn't have done it one finger nail more. I gave it all I got on the weekends with all the circumstances I had, and I know I did my best. So there is your mindset for this weekend. Make it a fantastic day. I hope all of you guys have wonderful weekends with your family, your friends, you do something fun, and soak up these final summer days that we have in front of us. Happy Friday, you guys. Love you.